understands Emmanuel Augustus. He can go toe to toe with just about anybody in the business, and he enjoys doing it. On his way up, he fought nothing but tough competition. No kitty gloves for this guy. And he goes into people's hometowns. He doesn't worry about that. Half gloves will travel with him, half shoes will travel. And you know what? He can fight. So when you're in there with him, you better bring it. Upset our new British lightweight champion, John Thankston. It'd be amazing to see if they can keep up this pace throughout eight rounds. Look at this fight! Finger taking a pounding throughout the entire fight. Been bleeding profusely through the nose and miraculously has not gone down. To stop this fight! Anybody watching this fight at all? In between rounds, call your friends on. You're seeing something that you don't see too often. Emmanuel Augustus, he fought on my show when he fought Emmanuel Augustus on Kale Nation. People remember you by the quality of fights. They don't remember you by your record. If I say Ali, you think crazy. Two things for me. That's for his most memorable fight to me. That. Let me tell you something. I went in the locker room after the fight for Marmel Floyd. And Floyd said, I never want to see that guy again. talk about to me was one of the greatest fights we ever had on ESPN and it was against a guy named Emmanuel Augustus yeah and he was one of the most toughest but also most entertaining fighters I oh, think I we've ever had he might have been one of my toughest fights in my whole life if not the toughest to be honest with you um, he just fought over his not over his head but he fought out of shape a lot I don't think in shape I don't think I think he would have been a top three fighter in the world, or, or maybe even a world champion, without a doubt. Now, I wish he had gotten more credit than, than he had gotten. I agree. 